In this video, we learn everything about shopping in English. Let's get started. The first thing you might say is, what times are you open? So you ask the salesperson or the shopkeeper, what times are you open? What is the answer? We are open from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., Monday to Friday. So this is one possible answer. Or we are open from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., seven days a week. So the answer is different. What times are you open? Are you open on? So here you can add the, let's say, uh, time or day, for example. Are you open on Saturdays? Are you open on Saturdays? Are you open on Mondays? Are you open on Tuesdays? Or are you open in the morning? In the afternoon? In the evening? Are you open in the? So, for days of the week, we use on. On. Next, we have this. What time are you open until? What time are you open until? Okay, so you are asking about the time the shop is closed what time are you open until for example we are open until 9 p.m are you open on the weekends are you open on the weekends or you are just open on weekdays weekdays and weekends are you open all day are you open all day? So, these are the questions you can ask. What time do you close? What time do you close? We can change it. What time do you open? What time do you close? What time do you open? What time do you close today? So, this is more specific. What time do you close today? Today. And what time do you open tomorrow? What time do you open tomorrow? Can I help you? So the salesperson might ask, can I help you? How do you answer? For example, I'm just browsing, thanks. So, you don't need help. You don't need someone to help you. You're just looking. You're just browsing. I'm just browsing, thanks. Or, yes, please, I need it. So here, if you need help, you can say, yes, please, I need a something you want, okay? Excuse me, do you work here? So you see a person in the shop, but you're not sure if he's a salesperson, if he's a shopkeeper or not. So you can ask, do you work here? Because you need help. I'm trying to find a... So here you can add what you're looking for, the product, the goods, for example. I'm trying to find, uh, for example, a shampoo, whatever. Or I'm looking for, I'm looking for, a, for example, blue t-shirt. I'm looking for a something. Where can I get pet food from? So this is another question. 
Where can I get pet food from? Or let's change pet food. Let's change it. Where can I get, uh, for example, um, groceries from? Where can I get groceries? Where can I get meat? Where can I get bread? Where can I get bread from? Where is the nearest shopping center? So you can ask this. Where is the nearest shopping center? Shopping center is a place where people go to find and buy things, different things, a lot of things. Do you know where the nearest hardware store is? Do you know where the nearest hardware store is? So here we have hardware store. We have software and hardware. So look at the picture here. What is the question about? What is this part about? See? How much is this? So this part is about price. You're asking the price. How much is this? It's very simple. How much is this? Or how much are these? If they are plural, not one thing. So you have to say, how much are these? Or how much does this cost? How much does it? Ya does this cost? How much does it cost? How much does this cost? Look at this picture. What do you see here? Yes, some girls are shopping. Yeah, they are browsing. They're looking. All right. So what is what is what is next to them? Ah, uh, what is it? Yeah, it's a shop. It's a shopping center. It's a kind of store. That's it. Uh, but we call it window. Ah, uh, window, window. Look at this. How much is that? For example, dress in the window. So, windows of the shops. This is a kind of window where products are put in to show people. So, you see what this shop has. How much is that? Blah, blah, blah. In the window. How much is this? So we we learn that how much is this? So what is the answer? That's cheap. That's cheap. All right, you can say, oh come on, that's cheap, or that's good value. These are possible answers. That's good value, or that's expensive, very expensive. That's expensive. I can't afford it. That's a little over my budget. This is a very nice answer. That's a little over my budget. So instead of saying that's expensive, you can be more creative and say that's a little over my budget. It means I can't afford it. I have no money to buy it. That's not exactly what I'm looking for. So you might uh, you might, let's say, uh, you might dislike that product. So you can say, oh, that's not exactly what I'm looking for. Or it's too long. It's too short. If you're buying clothes, it might be too long or too short. So you can use these phrases. Or it's too tight. Jeans, for example, sometimes they're tight. Or too loose. Loose and tight, long and short. We have also, do you sell? Do you sell? So you're asking about something. You do, you're not sure about that shopping center. You're not sure about the store and uh, what it's selling. All right. So you can say, do you sell or do you have any? Do you have any? So the shopkeeper might say, sorry, we don't sell them. Or we don't have them. Or sorry, we don't have any left. We don't have 
any left it means we don't have anything i'm looking for so you can say i'm looking for as a customer i'm looking for blah 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 or could you tell me where there is could you tell me where the jeans are could you tell me where the shampoos or shampoo is where can i find there where can i find there so if you're in a big store you need to use these phrases where can i find the groceries where can i find bread where can i where can i find fruit everything everything is possible have you got anything cheaper so if that product is expensive you can say have you got anything cheaper for example you want to buy a gift for your girlfriend or for your friend all right so you can say have you got anything cheaper i need something cheaper it's a very expensive i need something cheaper or it's not what i'm looking for it's not i don't like it's not what i'm looking for do you have this item in stock? Do you have this item in stock? Or do you know anywhere else I could try? So if that store doesn't have that item in stock, so you can say, do you know anywhere else I could try? Any other shops, any other stores? Can you tell me, can you show me, or can you help me find somewhere else? Does it come with a guarantee? Does it come with a guarantee? You know, guarantee. So the answer is, it comes with a one-year guarantee. Two years guarantee. That's it. Do you deliver? So some shops may deliver, some may not. I'll take this. So you want to take, you want to buy something. You can say, oh, I take this, I'll take this. And uh, would you like anything else? So they, let's say the salesperson would ask, would you like anything else? Would you need anything else? Or anything else? Simply, anything else? Now, let's go for payment. Look at this picture. What is it? Yes, people are waiting in line. Yes. Uh, we call it a queue. Are you in the queue? It means, are you in the line? Are you waiting in the line? Are you in the queue? Do you take credit cards? So when you're going to pay, huh? you need to let's say use your credit card or you need to pay uh, in cash so uh, the salesperson the cashier would ask do you take sorry you ask you ask do you take credit cards do you take credit cards i'll pay in cash so you might say i'll pay in cash uh, or i'll pay by card no difference okay pay in cash or pay by card and uh, could I have a receipt, please? So you pay the price, so you need a receipt. You can say, could I have a receipt? Or can you gift wrap it for me? Gift wrap, gift wrap it for me. All right. Or would you like a bag? Yes. They, let's say, cashier would ask, would you like a bag? Now, returns and complaints. I'd like to return this. So you might not like something you have bought, you had bought. So you can return that product. I'd like to return this. 
I'd like to change this for a different size. So, it might be too short, too loose, or too tight. So, you can change the size. It doesn't work. Hmm? The, let's say the salesperson would ask, why do you like to return it? Why would you like to return it? You can say, it doesn't work. So, it doesn't work. Or, it doesn't fit. If it's about clothes, it doesn't fit. Could I have a refund? So you can have a refund. You take back. You, uh, let's say, get back your money. Could I have a refund? Refund. Have you got the receipt? If you want to get a refund, you need to have the receipt. So the salesperson would ask, have you got the receipt? And you can say, could I speak to the manager? Could I speak to the manager? I'd like to make a complaint. Complain. Complain. I'd like to make a complaint. I'd like to return this, please. So these are some other, let's say, sentences, phrases we can use here. It was a gift, but I don't like it. So if you're going to make excuses, you can say it was a gift, but I don't like it. Or it was a gift, but the person I bought it for doesn't like it. So you might not like it or the, that person wouldn't like it. No difference. You can return that. Thank you guys for your kind attention. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson for more videos please subscribe the channel and see you next time goodbye